Hi folks, Robert O'Brien from the Luthery Academy and O'Brien Guitars here. Recently I had a guitar come into my shop, a pretty high-end Ramirez classical guitar, with a typical problem that I've seen on a lot of Ramirez guitars. That is that the action is too high at the 12th fret and there's not enough saddle at the bridge location to lower it. You get the correct action and still have enough saddle exposed. And being a traditional Spanish heel classical type neck joint, you can't just do a neck reset. So there is a way to fix it, but it's pretty major surgery, and that's what we're gonna to do today. So here's the victim, the Ramirez classical guitar. I have used my trusty string height gauge that I got from LMI to measure the action at the 12th fret on the sixth string is coming in at four and a half millimeters on the sixth string and coming in at just under four on the uh, treble string. I like to shoot for somewhere around three and a half and two and a half if I can get it. And as you can see, this is much, much taller than that. So I document that first of all, that's the target that I have now and I wanna go a lot less than that. And down here on this end, there's just not enough saddle exposed to uh, correct that action. So let's start by just removing the strings, pulling the frets, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do. So to correct the neck angle, since we can't do a neck reset, what I do is I sand or plane the fretboard, I plane an angle into it, which gives me more angle back here to adjust it on the saddle. Several ways to do that. If you don't have very much to go, then you can use these precision leveling bars I got from LMI and come in and they make a short one, a medium one, and a long one, and come in and just concentrate your efforts down on this end and take it down on this end and feather it back up into this area. If you think you have a little bit more to go, you can use a combination of planes. I've got scraper planes. And I've also got number five jack plane. You could also just use a block plane. Now, before you actually get going, put a straight edge across here and measure your gap back down here at the uh, saddle location, how far you are off the top. So you kind of have a target of how much you need to take off of here. To me, it's looking like about a millimeter or so that needs to come off of this. So this is my number five jack plane. Something else you really want to pay attention to is if you notice your fret slots are starting to go away, get out your fret saw and come in and deepen those things again. All right, let's get out my straight edge, measure down here at the saddle location, see if I've made a difference. Here I am back after lunch, had a celebratory cup of coffee, got some energy, I'm ready to go back to work. And now it's time to put the frets in. Now I'm not gonna cover the fret work because that's been covered in a lot of my other videos. I also uh, Michael Baskin and um, Kent Everett has some great fretting uh, video courses on the Luther Academy, so I won't go into that. However, I am gonna put the frets in, do my fret work, I'll get the strings on, we'll be back for a final evaluation. <laughs> Well, folks, I finished up the fretwork. I put the strings on. Usually, uh, what the case is is you have to lower the nut because you took a considerable amount of ebony off this end of the fretboard. So I had to lower the nut a good two, two and a quarter millimeters. And what usually happens here after you check it is you usually wind up being about where you need to be or you need to actually make a new saddle and raise that up a little bit. I checked with my string height gauge here from LMI. I'm coming in at 3.23 and I like to see about 3.5. The action when it came in was closer to four and a half or five. Over here on the treble side, I like to see two and a half. And right now I am coming in at 2.43, 2.44 it looks like. So I'm actually gonna have to raise it just a little bit or even just live with that little lower action. It was coming in much higher than that. So I'm gonna make a new saddle. This guitar is now ready to go back out on the road. Happy building, guys.